This is yet uh, another way, right, Vanessa, that Olive Garden is trying to not just attach themselves to millennials, but, but getting onto this whole crowdsourcing customization movement, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is a great way for a brand to engage with their customers, of course, but it, they also, during voting, so you vote online for whether you want to be part of Olive Garden's Team North or it's Team South. <laughs> but in order to place your vote, you have to give them your email address. Uh. So it's a great way for a marketer to stay in touch with their fans as well. Um, and who's winning, by the way? Do we know? So far, Team North is winning. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, I guess America's not ready for pepperoncinos yet. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so Northern Cuisine is winning out. That's good to know. But, you know, this is also another way, right, where Olive Garden is trying to reverse the sales declines that they've seen at their store, that's, at their restaurants, right? That's right. Um, Olive Garden's same-store sales have been falling for the last five quarters. Um, they tried to um, ensure investors that things were okay by reporting a 0.6% increase for the month of September. Um, however, as we all know, their board was replaced. Um, all, all members. Yes. That's right. Darn, um, so, uh, that was just so, so crazy to hear, even in the activist world. But you know, uh, but this whole idea of like, uh, of just you know, we're going to provide you as many varieties as possible. We're going to give you, you know, we're allow you to customize. I mean, we've got the uh, the Pizza Hut CEO on in the next hour, where they're touting two billion ways to make your pizza. Now, I told people that around the newsroom, and everyone's like, I don't want that. I just want plain. I'm sorry. So is that really, I mean, is that how people, how restaurants are going to attract people? Yeah, I can think of maybe like two pizzas that I, I know. actually order most of the time. Exactly. <laughs> but they do. So um, today, Pizza Hut unveils its new menu, okay. and it has um, new ingredients. They have a bunch of new crusts, um, like uh, curry flavored, curry flavored cr crusts. Um, pretzel crust. They've got some new sauces like honey sriracha. You can also put a drizzle on your pizza, also honey sriracha. So. <laughs> uh, right. And it's a, more variety, they think, means younger people into their stores, into their restaurants. Right. I mean, this is all about um, trying bold new flavors, um, giving people more options. As McDonald's CEO put it, people want more choices in terms of um, how they order, what they order, and how they're served. So I think we're going to see a lot of this kind of customization trend in fast food as, you know, they're trying to uh, lure the millennial customer. I don't, I don't know if these types of marketing tactics are as effective with older consumers. Mm, all right, well, I guess we're all old here because we're all like, oh, we just want plain. That's all we want. All right, Vanessa, thank you so much. Bloomberg Business Week's uh, Vanessa Walker.